How well would you be able to identify a scammer? This is a problem a majority of Americans say they're concerned about. A new Gallup survey shows 57% of respondents worry about being tricked into losing money. KXAN's Tom Miller talked with The Hill about how to avoid these types of scams. This Gallup survey asked Americans about their crime concerns and interestingly found that they're much more concerned about online crime than in-person crime. Why is that? Well, I think really, you know, you look at how much technology intersects with everyone's daily lives. We're always on our phone. We're always on our laptops or we're working or we're on our tablets or we're on our Kindles reading our books, you know. So we really use technology to such an extent now that people are worried. Now, in addition to the fear of being scammed, what other crimes did people report being concerned about? People are really worried about being victims of identity thefts. You know, that concerns about 72% of Americans who replied to the survey. You know, another one is getting your car stolen or broken into. And 51% of the respondents to the survey, you know, worry about that frequently. Yeah, those online crimes were sort of the top ones. Now, when it comes to avoiding falling victim to an online crime, what are things people should be doing? People need to be careful and double check the information that they're receiving on their cell phone or, or via email and make sure that it is actually something that um, they have requested or they have asked for. You know, people get asked about their financial details all the time or, you know, there's been a transaction um, through your bank account and it looks real. Uh, when in fact there's not been a transaction and that's how people get scammed. Sarakshi Rai, reporter with The Hill, we appreciate your time. Coming up, chicken coops power.